Hey everybody, how you doing out there? It's yours true. Just came back to give you an update to this YouTube uh, set, uh, saga. And uh, I'm not going to talk about the shooting that happened last yesterday. About the Toronto... Well, you know, I'm not going to mention the, the, the company name. Um, but you guys are going to understand what I'm saying. It's about uh, um, how, you know, um, you know, that... The, uh, Gangs and stuff like that going on these days in the city of Troll. We live in the city of Troll, that's Canada. Uh, we just had a shooting yesterday. Not only that, uh, we had three shootings going on yesterday. Um, completely un unnecessary. <laughs> unnecessary. This will be on my YouTube channel. Uh, the whole entire Troll area has heard about the shooting. Uh, they had alerts sent out to our mobile devices. Yes, right? Everybody has a mobile device, an iPhone out there, carrying with them all around this world. And uh, sometimes we'll get notifications either from a, a child being abducted, you know, I'm not, I don't really want to put that, put that out there, you know, it's kind of taboo, you know. But yeah, yeah these alerts, uh, we have mobile devices today, we are always informed. The word I would use, informed. Well, we get informed about many things. Informed about alerts out there, either weather related, uh, shootings going on, uh, active shooter going on to abductions. You probably heard about it on the news people. So we get these alerts, these crazy alerts, and they go out to our mobile devices. Everybody has a mobile device today, it seems like. Uh, an iPhone or Android, whatever the case may be, are holding around with you. Um, and uh, yeah, just a uh, shooting went on. I'm not going to mention the uh, the actual um, uh, what type of uh, police they were using the other day. Uh, but I think it was in Brampton. It was somewhere in Brampton, Ontario. So in Brampton, uh, so apparently there was a, uh, a stolen vehicle yesterday. Yes, a stolen vehicle. It said, I just told you people yesterday when I read on the alerts. And folks, it's not pretty. It's not pretty. We're going to have, uh, they were talking about on the radio stations this morning, it, it was unnecessary kind of thing. Unnecessary with alerts. There's so many alerts out there that the uh, public get notified about. Um, either uh, uh, weather related or some abduction went on um, or some crime that went on. All these alerts have to do with many reasons, many things. Uh, sometimes we'll get alerts from a weather perspective. Uh, if there's ever a thunderstorm, rain, you name it, we get uh, notifications. So this will be on my YouTube channel. I'm not going to mention my YouTube channel name. You guys will have to figure that one out. And uh, it's just, it's just uh, yesterday, uh, yesterday was a shooting going on. And can you believe that? They gave us the, uh, I thought, at first I thought it was an Amber Alert. You know, those Amber Alerts that people tend to get. Um, so they get it on their mobile devices and uh, here I am speaking about this I will put this on my YouTube channel I'll publicize it <laughs> yes I will publicize it uh, publicly <laughs> and I'll definitely I'll definitely put it up on YouTube um, and uh, yeah just uh, we had a lot of shootings going on in our city people are just dumbfounded how many shootings we get in the city of our Toronto city it used to, uh, in the early 70s and 80s, there was never been, like I said earlier this morning, we, uh, originally when I was born in the 70s, there was never no shootings going on. It's just the last past 10 years, there's been shootings going on. Uh, if it's drug related or it's shooting related uh, or it's something else that we don't know, uh, this city has uh, a share of bad stuff that goes on in our city. No question about it, to the north end of the city, to the west end of the city, to the east uh, side of the city, to the east side of the city, you're going to have a lot of problems. You're going to have a, a lot of problems. Everybody discussing this on the radio station. On uh, uh, 640 Toronto was talking about it this morning. 680 News was talking about it this morning. Uh, a lot of other radio stations were talking about it. But we got the notifications uh, on our mobile devices, and we didn't like that. We didn't like that. It wasn't on the TV shows. It was on our mobile devices. And uh, we didn't like it at all, folks. We didn't like it at all. We live in an age of, uh, uh, of basically information about anything about everything, either due to the weather, 
crime in our cities. I'm not going to remember what type of crimes there are. Um, to you name it. There's going to be some alerts out there. I thought yesterday when, when we get these uh, uh, so-called Amber Alerts, I thought it was like the abductions. Uh, sometimes uh, they'll put them out due to child abductions type of thing. Um, when uh, something bad were to happen, sometimes they'll get this and you hear these stupid noises on your mobile devices. And uh, I, at first I thought it was an ambler due to a, a, a child abduction. Probably it's, uh, it's, you know, probably that. So folks, I'm, like I said, this was just, I thought it was just that and then only that. But no, it was something else. It was some stolen vehicle, somebody stole a vehicle out there. And the city of Trump, that's the city of Trump. I don't know where it took place. But, uh, but there you go, folks. You're going to have crime in every amount of the city. I mean, the uh, chief of police of Toronto uh, spoke out this morning. And uh, I heard his, uh, his uh, talking points, as you said. And I really did. I really did, folks. I really did. His talking points. And uh, everybody's sad. Into what, uh, people are just afraid to live in Toronto. I mean, it's gone to this point where a lot of people are just moving out of Toronto going to live in somewhere else, the old saying goes. If you don't like the crime, just move out of the city, right? Uh, it's like there's going to be crime in every city. It doesn't matter where you live. There's going to be crime everywhere. I would say in the next future or so, there's going to be some crime, unless we have a, a really good discussion about it, about how we get rid of our crime-written areas, basically. Uh, there's going to be some uh, communication to it, but our... our I'll say this much, our chief of police uh, people here, had his, he had a say this morning about the whole situation yesterday. And uh, on my, my mobile device, I got that notification. I'm not going to uh, uh, tell you about more about it. But like I said, folks, we are living in, in a digital age, information age, yes. And uh, we want to be notified by anything and anything, as I like to say. Anything and everything. Uh, I mean, it, it just it's, it, it just never never phases me out. Now, this is a, this is a, this is a, if everybody asks me, is this a true story? This is definitely a true story. So I'm going to put this out there on my YouTube channel and make this an audio portion, not a visual portion, but an audio portion. And it'll be like a podcast show, basically. So I'm going to put this out. Uh, everybody was dumbfounded about the shooting lot yesterday. Uh, apparently there was two people that died in the middle of a shoot. One police officer was shot and killed. Yes, yes, I guess you can tell. Uh, it's really hard that people are doing what they do out there. You know, it's just, it's the mind boggle to what people do in their lives. It's just unacceptable. I think if the chief police were to say that, I think that would be the word he'd be saying. Unacceptable is right. So, it's a downfall. It's just downfall to what we live in the city and then we have these, you know, doesn't matter where you live in the city, you know, just terrible. And the radio station wanted want to say we need to have a discussion. That's what they were saying on the, the airwaves. Um, and it's just despicable. No, uh, you know, life stuff out there. I just, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous, folks. Anyway, this is not a rant. I'm just saying it very slowly so everybody gets what I'm saying. Uh, I'm not raising my voice or anything, folks. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm downtown like everybody else. I'm just downtown. Uh, here we are in the year 2022. And it's just downtown. So I'm going to put this on my YouTube channel. This will be an audio only podcast. And uh, yeah, so there you go, folks. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, ciao for now.